All right. If you would, introduce yourself. Uh, and if you would, talk to us about what it's like to be uh, retired and to be a senior citizen in these times. Okay. Here's Elvin Keith Perryman, born October 1st, 1925, in Taft, Oklahoma. And born back in the Big Depression back when the country was in bad trouble. And thanks to a man we got elected, named Franklin Delano Roosevelt, through his leadership and success in World War II, the only war really that we've had, he brought us into what we now know of a prosperous America. But those people who Went along with me, came along, those coming after the call, and they call you now, I think, the baby boomers, who are now reaching old age and re retirement and so on. Well, I got there before you. And I will tell you one thing it's hell out here now, because our country has forgotten about what it is to be old. Only a few who are in power and are old have it made. But for the rest of us out here, our incomes are going down and our expenses are going up. And that's a shame. But that is what is happening. And most of us old people now, we're getting warehoused, put off in places and put aside and being forgotten about. The world, America isn't thinking that, hey, we built this dadgum place. We built America. Yes, those of us who came through World War II, and all of the aftermath, yeah, we built this country up. Those of us who are now old, and I am old, I've been retired for 32 years. We're not on disability because I had a heart attack. <laughs> Got worn out fighting for America, trying to get it with this problem straightened out. And I have seen my, I retired, I was in very good shape, nice upper middle class. Well, I have found out, getting old, I'm now in huh, lower middle class, or better still, upper levels of poverty, because that's where most of us old people are winding up into. And somehow, you young people out there, you're forgetting one day you too are going to be old, and it's not nice being warehouse, because that's what you're doing to most of us aged people. You're warehousing us. Yes, I just turned... 84 on October the 1st, and I'm now considered, yeah, an old person, and being treated like that. That shows you that we're not making democracy work, because it should apply to the well-being of old people, as well as middle-aged people, as well as young people. It should be something that you take care of all of us. And I don't come out, I'm not asking anybody, begging anybody to, to take care of me or something. I'm just saying, give me an even break. You know, charge me an a even price for what I need. Not some exorbitant price based on you things you built up out there for yourselves. And here, I'm hitting at the pharmaceutical industry, yes. They are hell of old people because we do need a lot of medicine. And the prices they keep charging us, we buy medicine here, bad. If we can go to other countries across the border and buy the same medicine at a reasonable price, something tells you something's wrong when they're forgetting old people. It's not good to be a senior citizen now. If you can grab enough piece of the action and get yourself covered, then it's okay to be old. I'm comfortable. Oh, i got lots of physical ailments on, but who hasn't? Got lots of problems, but who hasn't? All I ask for is an even break. Give me an even break. Don't let somebody else with a pencil push some idea across that don't need things to take care of that older people can have and be independent. Yes, I live independently, trying hard to, but I see a lot of people around me who are living in what you call assisted living. They're being well taken care of as long as they've got the money. And if they haven't got the money, they're warehoused out on the streets and in some downtrodden neighborhoods that have forgot that there is such a thing as democracy and that there is 
of so-called rich America, but we also know that the bills and things that have been made and taking most of my income through taxes to pay, to borrow money to take care of us is because people who are younger and greedy and have forgotten or don't know what it's going to be like to become old and having needs also. Um, how may, what could President Obama do to better support senior citizens and to actually maybe galvanize and utilize the wisdom and, and experience of senior citizens in the uh, democracy system? Just like he has gone to younger people who started his, his campaigns and who really worked hard to get him through, he needs to out galvanize groups of old people. And there are some of us out here who will do all we can to help him. But he needs to have groups of us, just like he has other groups, period. I don't see anywhere in his administration that he has galvanized a group of seniors. And I don't mean the wealthy people, the billionaires, and so on. I'm talking about the ones who are out here living and struggling along with the problems, who work their ways hard through all of this mess to get the country where it is now. He needs a group of those people to help him do his battles with Congress. They need to be there to let Congress know that we do know all those people in Congress. We know how they came into power, where they came from, and so on, and what we need to do to change them. That is the vital thing that the president can do if he will get himself a group of seniors, and I mean true seniors, not the wealthy ones, just the ones who are managing, getting along, practicing this thing called democracy, doing their best, going to church regularly, <laughs> praying, and hoping that America is going to be set back on its good points, set back on the position that it held for a while and can't hold again.